Hello everyone, Wolf1617 here. So we are doing um, a video on about the shield, uh, sorry, structure, shield, module. How does it work? What do you need to do to get it? Um, like how does it work with the construction system? So I built a little base here so you guys can see. Um, nothing major, it's definitely not the design that I would do, but I wanted to show like one side of the base of how to, what the shield module can do and what structures are powers and uh, gives invulnerability and then the other part would be like what makes it so like which structures doesn't take the shield um, ability uh, that's a poor guy there's a guy that spawned here but he's not gonna be able to pull a vehicle because it is less than 20,000 codium you know so let me go ahead and grab the shield modules and you can see there's none in here at the moment and I'm doing it for a reason. I did have some cordium in here, but then I used it to build a base. So this is the, what I was telling you about. Allows cordium to be used to create a module that, when powered, applies one-way shields to structure openings to help protect the defenders inside. And it says TR only, but it's actually all factions that can, whichever faction you play will say like, NC only or VS only or TI only so it's just so all facts can factions can use it if you're in that own faction so again we I showed you the last video about how to cloak and stuff so go you just go ahead and cloak and you can see what um, anything that's green and highlighted will be activated by a shield module so we can see that it's going to be the Sunday garage the PO box this vehicle gate the um, infantry tower, not this wall, but this wall. And I think the blast wall will too, but it's showing that it won't, but I think it does. And of course, the bunker. The bunker. So, let me go ahead and see if I can put this like more in the center of everything. Uh, let's see if I can try to get the bunker in range as well. We won't be able to get the Sunday guards. Just because it, you know, it's it's not very big on the range. All right, I think right about there should be good. Does it get the bunker? Yep, it's getting the bunker, pillbox, t infantry tower. All right, it's getting all the buildings except for the blast wall. But I'll go ahead and grab another one. And there's something else that I figured out about the sky shield. I will explain that in, in a couple of minutes. Now we'll be able to get the Sunday guards. So let me explain the sky shield right now while we're waiting for that stuff to construct. And this is something I just barely found out, like literally like not a few minutes ago. I've already built a sky shield as you already saw. But here's what's interesting about the sky shield. So you see the red line here, which is telling me that there's another sky shield in that Sunday garage, which I can't. I have to place this right outside the line here. Give or take. Now I'm glad that they finally fixed it. Because you used to be have to be right here to place it. Even though the line was like right there. So I'm glad they finally fixed that. Anyways, but look at this red line, okay? And look right above you, the edge of the sky shield. If you don't believe me, let's look up here up on a hill. This red line, use it to your advantage to know for sure, okay, if I place on a sky shield, how much of an area is it going to cover? And it's not exactly perfect, as, as you can see right up here. Now, it's hard to take... To, uh, determine if the red line is smaller than the actual sky shield itself or if it's or if it's shifted to more towards like that side of the hill instead of this side it's hard to tell I would have to like actually find a really flat ground and actually compare but other than that that's actually pretty cool so just think of that when you're building a sky shield you're not gonna um and here's another thing you don't need to see the red line you don't need to put down a sky shield then grab another one to see what the red line is. You can do the same thing with the green line. See how you can see this green line? And it's the same thing. And the, the stuff that's highlighting green are going to be under the sky shield. So that is a new thing. I did not know that until literally just now. 
So take that in consideration when you're building a sky shield. And it highlights everything green from what I can see. So let's go ahead and deconstruct the sky shield. I know we're talking about the shield module instead, but this is part of the, you know, the stuff, the modules. Okay, but look at this. So it's pretty much highlighting anything that's gonna be under the sky shield. Not perfectly under it, but for the most part, it'll be covered majority of the sky shield. So again, take that into consideration when you are building a base. So let's um let's go ahead and just we'll put it right here. And we're gonna walk right over here. How how good of a job did I do this? Not too bad. Let's see if the see what the blue line and the green line is. Let's see if the sky shield, if the edge of the sky shield meets just to like right about here, okay? So I'm, I gotta go place this again. Because the 10 seconds was up, so I can't place it until I do it again. Yeah, I think that's relatively close enough. Alright, so the shear modules are up, which is good. So the Sunday Garage automatically has a shield wall. But the shield ability that gives your buildings invulnerability for 30 seconds and it has a one minute cooldown after you use it. And only the person that's building that base can do it. So if you have a, a shield module, and let's say your buddy has a shield module, then only you two can, are the only ones that can actually activate that shield module. Make sense? So if I have a shield module here, and let's say and in my buddy, like we'll call him James, has a shield module right here okay i can't touch hit i can't activate where it says you know hold e to overcharge the shield wall or just the shield in general so i can't activate his unless he's there and same thing with mine he can't activate mine so just remember that when you're building a shield module and let's say you see that the base is under attack and the dude and if no one's if you don't see that the walls are going to be invulnerable for 30 seconds go ahead and place your shield module down um, don't try to destroy other people's shield modules, but go ahead and place yours down. Let's go ahead and overcharge. What overcharge does, it gives invulnerability for 30 seconds. So you see how everything's kind of illuminating, well, at least the things that are supposed to illuminate. And oh, look, so the, see the blast wall does do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and grab our vehicle. I, we're going to grab our armor piercing vehicle. So that's good. So the blast wall does not highlight like the rest of the like the walls do, as you can see. But this wall, fortunately, still takes damage. I just don't understand why the developers haven't made that solid wall not take damage. So now we're gonna go ahead and activate this other module. Imagine if you did this twice, not at once, but let's say this the other side of this wall is under attack. You quickly activate that. This will illuminate for 30 seconds. Once that goes on a cooldown, then you quickly activate this. You have a whole one minute for you and your um, alpha members, squad members, or whoever's in the area to quickly repair these walls. And you can do it pretty quickly. Again, this wall is not like illuminated red like this is. And it looks like the bunker just, uh, either that or I'm not in range of the bunker. So we'll go ahead and we try. But that's not bad though. So that's the buildings. And you can see the infantry tower, the gates, or at least the gate. Infantry tower, pillbox, the wall, uh, rampart wall, not solid wall, which is the one without the stairs. So this is the rampart wall. It has stairs. Oh, you can't see it. It's on the other side. And this has stairs. And the bunker also illuminates. It just wasn't in range, but it does do it. So, I, I thought I was in range, but I guess I wasn't. But it does do it. But yeah, hopefully that explains how the shear modules work. I haven't really seen any other videos of people doing this, but it is very effective. Now, let's go ahead and check on our. Um, we need to grab. I guess we're grabbing our shear module. Because we need to see if that sky shield met up with the repair module. Um, I will grab this. See how close I was. Oh, it's not too bad. So it's a little off. So just remember that the, 
So yeah, the red line was here, whatever, you know, across the blue line when we were placing the sky shield. So just remember that the sky shield is just a little bit smaller than the red line. And the red line it makes it, or um, the red line makes it so you can't like place another sky shield right next to it. So let's go ahead and see, see if we can put this right next to the bunker. We'll go ahead and deconstruct this. Because I know the bunker can can go invulnerable too. Well, I mean like this is going to be like right next to it. And it takes about I think 45 seconds for a module to be fully constructed. And I think it's the same thing for all the other construction. Don't take my word for it but if I remember right I think it's like 30 to 45 seconds. And you can do this on your own if you want to test it out to find out exactly how long it takes. Oh, goodness, okay, so I'm stuck. There you go. And I'm on Esamir, as you may notice, and I'm just right here. Really close to the warp gate. Pretty much the line is right about there where I can't um, build anything going this way. So, which is the no deploy zone. Alright, it's up. And the reason why I have the tank, the lightning tank, the armor piercing rounds, because then I can shoot at the buildings that, to find out if they're really invulnerable or not. But last time I checked, bunkers are. There we go. See? Look how beautiful that looks. As you can see, I'm shooting it. I'll even shoot on the inside. I'll do it again. So you can see for sure that I'm actually trying to shoot at it. There's the rampart wall. Now, this is the solid wall, as you can see. No stairs, but it does take damage. Again, I don't know why they don't include this to be with the shield module. You know, the, invul the invulnerability. Alright. So that's how you know if it's working because everything's red. Red um, for a TR. Now it's taking damage, as you can see. I'll shoot on the inside again. There you go. And again. There you go. So, I know I said again twice, but it's all good. So now it does take damage, and I don't have repair modules out here because I didn't really need, think I needed to. So hopefully this makes sense in how the shield modules work. What buildings is what the, um, it can cover. We know what the blast wall does, but it does not illuminate like a greenish color like the rest of the buildings do when the shield module is in range. So just remember that the blast wall does go invulnerable as you did see that. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, I'm gonna actually not be posting videos of Planet Side after this video for quite some time. So if there are other videos you or things you want to see about base building in Planet Side, just go ahead and leave the comment below on this video. I'm gonna be posting videos mainly about Ark, and that's also not a base building game. I am turning away from Planet Side for now. Um, I don't hate the game. I love the game. It's just I'm just not having fun with this game for a while. It's just been a while. It's you know, I've played it so long. I have like over uh, 4,000 hours or something like that, or 3,000 hours I, on this game. So that's a lot of hours in, in playing this game. So, as always, I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct everything so nobody can, no enemies, I should say. Players can just get, you know, free search and destroy someone's, you know, base. Oops. I'm not quite sure how much search they can get out of destroying the base. It's really not that much because even I've destroyed bases and I don't get that much search out of it. I will actually be posting one more video of how to get this solid wall. So after that video, then I'll be post um, not posting planet side videos for a while. So if you want to know what to do to get to the solid wall, I can explain that. Oh, am I not? Oh, there we go. And this shield thing is still glitchy. I don't know why, but sometimes it. It happens when you build a gate, and sometimes it doesn't happen. I, I, I wish it happened every time, because then you can actually have three different gates, and one that can never get destroyed. So I don't know why it's still glitchy like that. It's hard to see, but I hope maybe if, if I look at it to the structure, so you can see it now. So it's cool. It's good and bad at the same time, because now you can't build another gate right where that. Oh, it disappeared now. Interesting. Because normally you can't build another gate right next to it. So. If you want me to do a video about a mega base on Hassan, 
the map the base that I've done it before but I I'll only do it just when the base is actually up kind of like what I did with this you guys didn't actually see everything that I built you I mean you didn't see how I built it how long it took me to build it and that's in what area and whatever but I can do to make a base on Hassan if you guys like it took it's gonna take a lot of characters it takes about five to seven character slots to build it but it's a base that has never failed me I've been attacked by platoons squads you name it been attacked and it has never failed me at least the way I set it up it takes me about if I have all the cordium and I never have to go get cordium if I don't have to get if I have to get cordium and build and switch log out get to another character log out blah blah and build with that, that character and then log out get another character and log in with the like character number three or whatever this guy shield will go away it takes time for it to go away um, it takes me about three hours to build it on my own but if I don't have to worry about cordium and there you go see it's gone then it only take me about 30 minutes to build give or take maybe 40 minutes just depends again how fast I can do it if I don't have any delays I can get it done within like 20 or 30 minutes and that's in that base is on Hassan my favorite spot hasn't failed me yet uh, I don't have like actually recordings of the base on attack because I was before I started streaming and doing YouTube videos so I was yeah I was, that was YouTube videos and streaming came after that whole epic base that I had built it was really cool so again saw this video t video took a little while than I, I thought it would but again leave comments down below what you guys think of what I just talked about and I will have about two or three more videos of planet side I know I have not been consistent just a lot of things are going on in real life so I can't really be like fully into like um, YouTubing right now and I don't really have anyone that can edit my video so everything's just practically just raw footage so because I don't really do editing very much um, I can but it just takes a long time so again you guys are awesome I appreciate all you guys do and I do try to respond to you guys comments I love talking to you guys and uh, there is another person, um, Alpha, um, something about Alpha Moon, I think that's his name. I can't remember his whole name. But he's got some good ideas, but it's going to require two players to see if they will work or not on some of the base building. So him and I, we're, we're going to be talking and doing some videos on that too, just not anytime soon. Right now I'm more devoted to Ark, but um, yeah, it's I found a spot in Ark that... I'm going to be playing right now it's um it's a booster server which i'm not a huge fan of but i really want to get going on this bunker base is what i call it which is in a cave but it's like the biggest cave that i can find on the ragnarok but it's a really cool spot and i'll try i don't know how long it's going to take me to get it going but i can try and, and upload some videos of that just me you know i have to destroy this guy's base that's inside right now he's actually not playing anymore but his stuff is still inside so i have so you see me videos of me destroying his um, walls and structures and his turrets and stuff like that so again you guys have been great this is wolf 1617 mainly known as planet side for base building but i'm switching to other games as well so i appreciate all you guys do and i look forward to you guys in the next video peace out